Hey everyone, welcome back. So you want real time Slack alerts when your GitHub Actions passes or fails? In this video, I'll show you how to set up automated Slack notifications using GitHub Actions with clean emojis, secure tokens and easy setup. So why Slack notifications? Imagine this, your CI build fails, but no one knows until much later. With Slack notification, your team gets instant alerts for success or failure right inside your workspace. So using this, you will get faster developer feedback, better team collaboration. You can track your deploys or releases. So how to wire all this up? So the first step is you need to go to api.slack.com slash apps and create a new application with the scope chat, right? And you need to install that application to workspace. And then you need to copy the bot token. Let's see how we can do that. So here, I will go to api.slack.com slash apps and I'm already logged in. So I get this option to create an app and if not, you can log in too. And after logging in, you will see the same page. So let's click on create an app. I will choose from scratch. So for the app name, I will use as GitHub notification and you need to select your workspace, whatever workspace you want this slack notification to go in and i'll click on create app okay so here my app is created now what i need to do is i will go to oauth and permissions and under scopes you will have bot token scopes and here i will click on add an oauth scope and i will give this a permission of chat right so you need to scroll down you will find chat right or you can type it chat right and after adding this, I will scroll up and I will find this OAuth tokens. And here you will see an option to install it to your workspace. So I'll click on that and I'll click on allow and, and my app is installed. So now what I need from here is this user auth token. So I will copy this. Okay. Now we have the auth token, but we need to add this auth token to GitHub secrets so that this auth token will be secure and no one can see it. So I will go to my GitHub dashboard and here I will click on settings and then I will scroll down here and you will see a secrets and variables. And if you do not see this option, that means you do not have sufficient permissions. So you can ask your manager or IT team. And, and after clicking on this, you need to click on actions. And right here, I already have a few repo secrets. You might not be having any of these, but you will for sure have this option to create a new repo secret. Click on that and I will name the secret as slack underscore bot underscore token. And I will paste my secret here and I will click on add secret. And here you will see that this secret has now been added. Okay. Okay. So now let's move to the third step. That is to add your channel ID to GitHub. So on Slack, every channel or any group will have a unique channel ID. So you will need that channel ID to be added to GitHub so that this workflow will know on which channel you want to post this notification. Okay. So let's go to Slack. Okay. So I am on Slack on web because on web I can directly see this channel ID. So all you need to do is like go to your channel and click on it. And once you have your channel open, then you will see this last thing in the URL that is your channel ID. So just copy this channel ID. And again, I will go to my GitHub dashboard and create another repository secret. And I will name this as Slack channel ID. And I will paste that channel ID here and click on add secret. So now we have both the secrets added to our GitHub. And now we can move to the step four that is creating your GitHub Actions workflow. Okay, so to do that, I will switch to my Visual Studio code or the code editor of your choice. And I have my project open here. And what I will do is I will add a new file and I will name the file as slack notification.yaml. And over here, I will go to my run test. I'll copy everything and paste it here so that I won't have to type it again and again. Okay. So this was all my run test workflow. Now what I want is I want to add another step here 
that will post my Slack notification whether this job is passed or failed. And to do that, I will use Slack API. So let's first go to our browser. And here I will search for Slack API slash Slack GitHub action. And I will hit enter. And here you will see the first very first option. And I'll click on that. I will scroll down a bit. And here you will see code for this API. But what we are interested is in the documentation. So to get there, I will click on this documentation URL. And here we have that documentation. So here you will be seeing like all the examples with all the syntax that you need to use to get this Slack notification working. So I'll go back to my code editor and here I will add a new step. I will name the step as Slack notify. And as you have seen on all those examples that we need to use uses. And here I will be using Slack API slash Slack GitHub action at version 1.24.0. And now I will add width and here I will add channel ID and my payload. And it also needs an environment variable. So I will add an environment variable here and I will name the environment variable as Slack bot token. Okay, so now we need to add our Slack bot token that we have added to our GitHub action secret. And to do that, we have a syntax that is dollar and then two curly braces secrets dot Slack bot token. And we also have our channel ID as a secret. So I will add that as well. So this is named as Slack channel ID. And here in the payload, I need to add my message. Now this could be a little tricky or easy if you know what you are doing. So all I need here is a text message for now. So I will add a text tag here. And then inside this, I will paste a text prompt. Okay, so I have pasted this text prompt so that I won't have to type all this. So what this text prompt does is like it checks my job status and if it is successful, it gives this job passed text with this green tick emoji. And if it is failed, it says the job is failed with a large cross as a red emoji to notify it is failed. So now I also want to add a few more things here. So we want this to run when the test passes. So in the passes case, it will definitely work because this is step is passed. And if this is passed, this is step will work. But if my run test fails, then in that case, this step will never work, right? Uh, it will be skipped. So I do not want that. I want this to run every time so that I get the failed notification as well. So to add that, it's super easy. All I need to do is at the very bottom, I will add a if always. And just like that, this workflow will run even when run test is failed. So now what I will do is I will commit this. And now I will switch to my GitHub dashboard and I will create a pull request. I will name the pull request as Slack notification. I will re leave the description as vacant as this is just a tutorial and I will click on create pull request. Okay. So seems like our job is failing. Let's see what's going on. Okay. So we are getting this error. So why we are getting this error? We are getting this error because we have not yet added this Slack bot token to that channel. And it is a simple fix. All we need to do is go to our Slack channel. So this is the Slack channel. Uh, which ID I have used and here all I need to run is slash invite at github notification app. So I'll, I will select this and I will hit enter. So now this bot is invited to this channel and now the bot will be able to push notifications here in this channel. So let's rerun this job. So I will go to my job that is failed currently and I will rerun it. And hopefully this time we will get a slack notification. So the job is successful and we can see the logs as well. The Slack notify is has ran properly. And when we go to our Slack, we see that this job passed notification is pushed. 
Okay, so this time this job passed. So we got this, but let's see how it works when the job fails. So I will go back to my code editor and here in the tests, I will modify the test in a way that it will fail and I will push this as well. And I will go back to my GitHub pull request. And here, as you can see, the job is failed. And here we got this notification that the job failed. So this is how you can just wire all this up and get your Slack notifications working. But this notification does not seem very helpful, right? It does not have any direct URLs that you can click on to and go to that job. It does not have even the name of the pull request. So you do not know whether that job failed for this pull request or some other one. So you should customize your Slack message with build details like job name, time, links. You can use status that we already used, whether the Git, GitHub Actions job is passed or failed. You can use the run ID for more context. You can send it to different channels for staging, production, etc. So let's see how we can add a few more things to our GitHub Actions Slack notification. So I will get back to here and this time I will add another text prompt, which is this long query and I will add this in our description as well. So you can just copy and paste and then modify from there. So I will save this. So let's see now we have again our check marks and this time we have added a clickable link to our workflow. So let's save this again and I will commit this and I will push this and again I will switch to my github actions dashboard and the job is running and when we switch to our slack channel this time you can see that this job is failed again the same message is displayed as well as we get this option to get to the logs so if we click on this it will redirect us directly to the logs and we can see what's going on why this is failed you just build a github actions workflow that sends job results to slack instantly securely using emojis and urls for clarity and ease of usage so now for every github actions job you will get real-time alerts that are secured with github secrets and are fully customizable thanks for watching if this helped hit that like button subscribe and share it with your devops team and drop a comment if you use matrix builds to clean up your workflows. If not, I will pin a tutorial in the description. You can watch that next. Thank you and I will catch you in the next one.